everyone and welcome. It is Wednesday. It is the week of my birthday. I am about to turn years old and um, looking forward to it actually. But now yeah, I was joined on the with, with, on the hangout day by the entire crew and everyone was being silly. I had filters on them, wishing me a happy birthday and stuff. So I really appreciate it. The crew is strong and the crew is funny. Um, Real quick video today for you guys. I, one of the things about collecting meteorites is you can do a little bit of anything you want. So one of the things that a lot of meteorite collectors do is they collect witness falls, but especially their birthday witness falls. And some people are very lucky. They have a lot of meteorites, four, that fell on their birthday. Some people have nothing that fell on their birthday. And other people have like Tissant, the, the, the Martian one. And it's like, yeah, you're going to get a micro. You're done. <laughs> um, so I decided to show you guys my birthday meteorite collection today. So, Pat, if you would be my uh, assistant director, I'd appreciate it. Um, and anyone who knows how to pronounce these better than me, please let me know. But I'm going to start with the most recent one. This is Mr. Cornelius. This fell, obviously, on June 2nd, which they all will be today. Uh, 1915, and it is in Indonesia. So this is a half gram with crust. And uh, I did this little display myself. I thought it was really cool. I put a uh, put a, uh, a display case in there to lift it up to the surface, so you can really see it as good as you can for a half gram sample. But that is from that's an H5 from Java, Indonesia. Then we go back a little bit more, and we have Bushoff. I hope I'm saying that right. Yeah, you did. Nice, thank you. Uh, this is a five and a half gram, five point six gram piece from Latvia. This is an L six, and this is an absolute beautifully crusted piece. Let me see if I can get the right to agree with me. Hold on. That light is in the worst spot. There we go. Nice thick crust. Thick too. crust. Yeah. yeah. Really, I was totally surprised. This is like from 1863. You really can't see that many condyles, but even the the iron right there is not oxidized. Yeah. Really happy with that one. So that's another one from June second, 1863, Latvia. Now we're going back even further, 1843. Utrecht. 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 Thank you. Who said that? Pat. Okay. Thank you. This fell. You want to tell us where it fell? I'll, I'll take the easy one. It fell in the Netherlands. Pat, where did it fall? Yeah, in the Netherlands. Uh, Utrecht <laughs> is the name of a city. The Blauwkapel, I think, is a subregion of Utrecht. Uh, this is from 1843, and it is a L6. But this one shows a lot of good condyles. And this one is particularly scarce. Yeah, I'm super, super happy to have this one. From 1843, Utrecht. Is that what you, how you say? Utrecht. Utrecht. Okay. Now I'm going to edit this one off. So if you were here live, you got to see this one. If you were watching this on the replay, so that is my other birthday witness fall that we need nameless. That is super cool. Everyone was just absolutely blown away with that. So I don't know why you guys missed it. Well, I know you weren't here live. Uh, <laughs> we had Dave Pinsky with his hand up first to also share with us some birthday falls. Well, first of all, oh. Birthday. Oh, July 21st. And so uh, the first one is uh, Kilabo from Nigeria, fell on July 21st, 2002. And it is an LL6 chondrite. It's a complete stone with some uh, of the fusion crust kind of knocked off. So I like that. This, this one is uh, really cool to have a complete stone on my birthday. And the next one, so the there's only two that I know of, is Swap. And it fell the exact same day, I found out, just a few minutes ago. Uh, 
almost at the same time. And this one is an H4-5, so it's got a lot more uh, iron in it. So it couldn't be from the, the same uh, asteroid. So uh, those are my two that fell on my birthday. That's so great. Thank you, man. I appreciate Thanks. this. And just to, to bullet point what you're saying, they both fell on your birthday of the year, but those actually fell on the exact same day. Yeah. Same year, same day. So yeah, that's what pretty amazing. Those. Yeah. I didn't know that until today, which I you have it, man. <laughs> never <laughs> looked at the cell lab the both labels at the same time. That's why. <laughs> okay. Uh, Chris Sanders and his cat. How are you, sir? Uh, uh, Dory and I are doing well. Um, I want to set the scene of my birthday, uh, well, in the fall a little bit. Um, I was a much younger with much more hair, 15-year-old Chris Sanders, and I went to high school that day. Nobody really knew it was my birthday, and the way that birthdays got announced was kind of mid-morning, the morning announcements came on, and they would announce all the birthdays. So I was playing it cool, keeping it to myself, because um, they were going to announce it. Then I was going to be like, yeah, it's my birthday, you know, all that good stuff. And I was walking after first period to second period, which is where that announcement was going to take place. And there's TVs in the commons of our high school. And on this day, the day of my birth, uh, 15 years later, I'm walking through and on the TVs, I see a tower with smoke coming out of it. And I see a plane hit the tower next to it. Um, and needless to say, this was September 11th. And so I was born on September 11th and nobody, the morning announcements were canceled. Nobody cared that it was my birthday for the rest of the day or the next several years thereafter. Um, rightfully so. But um, yeah, a little bit of a- you get excited for, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a little bit of a, a little bit of a cursed day in some ways, but it was not cursed on uh, September 11th, 1963 when the Karatu- uh, meteorite fell in Tanzania. So um, there are, I believe, three falls on my birthday. This is the only one I've ever been able to get my hands on. They're all very, very small. This one's only about 2.2 kilograms is what I've seen. Um, so I was able to get my, my hands on this little 1.12 um, gram slice just to say I had a piece of my birthday stone. So it's it's um, it's an LL6, um, not super exciting, uh, very small, maybe the only birthday stone I'll ever get my hands on, but it does exist and I do have it. So I'm quite happy to have it. Very cool. Great example showing some nice shop veins in there as well. You can see the chondrules. Um, yeah, you know, it's, it's weird as, as you start going through and you see all the, um, you know, it's, it's not like you're going after a class. You're going after whatever is available that fell on that day. It's a, it's a potluck. It's a, it's a hit or miss. Well, guess what most of them are? L6s. Because <laughs> guess what? Not every meteorite is a super sexy, rare, you know, it's lunar, trust me. Uh, oh, we have someone sneaking in on the very final minute. Ben, if this is not your birthday stone, you're never welcome back. Ben Thistler, how are you, sir? Good. I don't have a birthday meteorite, <laughs> so, still... so I'm sharing that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm a man of my word. We're going to have to kick you out. I'll put it out there. We don't plug a whole lot of our, our merch and type stuff, but we've been doing this because no one else does. So this is the witnessed meteorite uh, fall calendar. And most everyone here on the crew already has these, but um, these are absolutely amazing. And it's a photo contest that we have every year. You submit your your photo. Oh, this is a, a crew uh, member right here, Jules. She did a very interesting etch on that. And then every page in the calendar basically has witness falls from those days. Uh, and with a lot of these days have multiple ones so we just rotate the photo uh in a different fall but uh yeah if you if you don't have one of these calendars i highly recommend getting one because they are very very nice very limited and you oh pat brown i i bet you there's a co cluster chondral in there with your name on it man <laughs> uh, so that is that is one way where you can get into seeing your your uh learning your your meteorite uh fall uh birthday there's a few other places online where you can find it uh as you search and also in the met bowl but the met bowl doesn't have the necessarily the dates of some of the older ones uh, you have to look in historic books and stuff so thank you very much guys and uh, happy birthday to me bye, -bye. <laughs>